We on 133rd in Amsterdam, we in the hood. Nice, wholesome view of the project. If you even call the cops, we'll make it hard for you every day. When you come through here, get where you're going, or end at your own risk. Swipe, 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 swipe. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful night out here in Harlem. I'm with my good people. Welcome to the west side of Harlem. You know what I mean? We on 3030 amps. Harlem not really that big, you know what I'm saying? Harlem is really like from 103rd to 155th. We share Manhattan with the Lower East Side and the Heights, you know what I'm saying? It's just that Harlem is just the popular, the most popular, you know what I'm saying? We the most we we have the we have the culture, we have the music, we have the fashion, we have the basketball, we have the rap, and we have the DJs, and we have the hustlers, notable hustlers. Notable gangsters. We're small, but what we bring to the table is so big. It makes us. It makes us seem bigger. Like it makes us seem like we're the bum. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will say Brooklyn, Queens, Harlem, Staten, Bronx. You know what I mean? They won't even say Manhattan. This right here is the project. This Manhattanville project. Shit. You might have to hold your nose because this right here is real project shit. It'll smell like nothing but piss and crap. Man, it's 20 floors on each of these buildings. I mean, you got 1470, 1430, 14, was it 1475? Oh, that's a crush street. 1430, 1420, 545, 95, you know what I'm saying? All of these shits, 1470, all of these shits, 20 floors a piece, you know what I'm saying? 20 floors each, and these shits is hot. <laughs> these shits is hot, 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 you know what I'm saying? When I mean hot, I don't mean the temperature, you know what I'm saying? This shit is hot, you know what I mean? So when you come through here, get where you're going, or end at your own risk. Hey, you got your pink and tangy on there? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no chicken in that shit, nothing but fries. You're the only nigga that I know you the only tray of fries. Cause you don't eat meat. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm loved when I'm from. That's a New York staple right, <laughs> right there. there. Next to the next to the Chinese food ketchup. Next to the ketchup. Next to the ketchup. I hope she was pretty. I hope she was fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hope she was fire. I find that's like Cinderella. I find that might be my wife. That's a New York story. That's a New York like, staple. That's right, you know what I mean? Nice New York love story. A fiend gonna pick this up because that's a whole boat. He's uh, fiend picking that up for sure. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. While we over here chopping up, is gonna be a nigga. By the time you look over there, she'll be gone. You know what I'm saying? But you know, this is where we keep, this is where we, you know what I mean? It's where we dwell at, you know what I mean? But this is where them, this is where them niggas be at, the police, bro. Them niggas come through right here, and they'll go through them steps right there, catch a nigga right on the second floor. Where y'all going? Where's you going? You can't even run, because they on the back. The whole van on the back. You nigga, they right here. They not coming through this way. Only the, the cops on feet coming through this way. They car parked in the back. So as soon as you run and get up out of there, that whip is right there. Where you going? Niggas to get locked up just for trespassing on the building they not from. I'm coming down late night. Cops roll up. Yo, what you doing here? I'm coming downstairs for my chick crib. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, you trespassing. I'm trespassing. I really got locked up on some shit like That's that. That's what they do, bro. Like, especially back when it was like stop and frisk. Yeah, stop and frisk. Came in, in, all that shit. Like, 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 I'm typing years of 2010. Right. Stop and frisk. They just ain't care yeah, how old man. niggas was. Oh, yeah, come, come here. I done got about, I done got at least. I might got at least four or five different summons. You know, like sometimes they don't even give you the, the ticket, they just give you a summons. That's a waste of a fucking time, because then I'm, I gotta go to the fucking court. I don't know what type of quota y'all niggas is meeting or right. some shit like that, giving niggas the, just the summons. Just say I nigga got gave a nigga the summons today. Violate. Yeah, violate. Violate. Fuck you fucking cop, it's fuck NYPD. Right, fuck 12, y'all be feeling too many quotas, we on it, y'all. Yeah, y'all yeah, niggas just feeling mad quotas. Y'all niggas just be parked up on, on, these, on days like this, Friday, Saturday, they parked up on the weekends just to pick somebody up or just to meet their quota. Right. And niggas is not fucking slick. Fuck y'all niggas. Don't worry about some serious shit. Yeah, it's wild rape going on out here, and y'all niggas is worried about us. I'm giving the pedals a, a, a six months. <laughs> and y'all niggas, and y'all niggas is crazy. Now y'all niggas gotta do y'all job even worse now, cause niggas gotta wear a mask. So you can't, you don't even know who to pedal now. Right. <laughs> niggas, right. niggas is pedals. You can't even tell your raw scene on a dead ass on a deli store. 
a motherfucking, you know they got when they when they when they got footage of a nigga, they they, they capture that and say, yo, one for shit. Bro, what? The nigga on there with the fucking COVID mask on. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> Whole COVID mask on. Why'd you identify that nigga? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That could have been anybody, bro. Alright, that's crazy. No good sir. The cop thing, the cops don't be trying to crack they worried about who. All the time. I was just telling them that this building, cops come up in here filling their quota and come through there and come through there. Oh, it's five buildings here. So it's the only one that got that shit. That's why this is the building right here. 1470 shit. Uh, niggas know what's going yeah. That's, that's, that's blood. That's family. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done shared Mystic Sodas with that nigga. Y'all don't even know about Mystic Sodas. Y'all didn't even know Mystics had sodas. Feel me? Uh, I'm sorry, it was it was sparkling water. What is that, a dollar? Yeah, yeah it was like, like a dollar. That was in a 50 cent, right? No, it was a 50 cent. Man, I should be like... 50 cent was a, was, a, was a joint that killed you. That's, that's the reason I ain't got a, got a kid now, low key. I, I, I drink too many 50 cent sodas. Tropical fantasy crazy. Tropical fantasy crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mystics, bro. Mystics, Mystics, Mystics with the vibe. You go back, you go back with a nigga to Mystics, that's your day one for a fact. Take two car, ain't nobody in this bitch, man. Still go to this It's winter time, scaffold time, ain't nothing but trapping going on over here, you feel me? Nothing but trapping going on. Straight up and down. This playground right here, don't nothing but kids be in this shit. This is for the kids. For the kids, for baby moms and shit like that. That's another kid, that's another, uh, Playground for the kids. We not really on over here like that. This right here, baseball field. We done did everything in this shit, bro. Closed off. You know how that shit go. This the only laundry room in the hood like that, like that. This, this ain't, this not in every building, but you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, um, one of my homies moms, her name Gloria, she used to wash the clothes in here. She used to have this shit on lock, you know? She's still around this shit, but I don't think she working this shit on we still had another um, laundromat that was right, like right in front of, right next to the supermarket. So niggas ain't want to, and it's the project. So niggas, everybody ain't want their clothes. Yeah, that's yeah, that shit. Thinking. You know what I'm saying? But, but the, the difference is though, over in here, you know for sure niggas will fold your shit up and shit like that. The laundromat, you gotta do that shit your damn self over there. All of villains in Harlem, they don't went to this school right here. I'm talking like literally all of us, like in one school, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm talking about niggas from Polo Grounds, niggas from 40th, niggas from EA, niggas from Drew Ham, from Manhattanville, from Skrilla, to motherfucking Grant, to 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 the zoo, which is, you know, uh 14, 7, 14, I mean the zoo, I mean 147, 145th, and 7th Avenue and shit like that. When I was growing up, they called it IS 172, but niggas ain't call that shit that. Call this shit 43. They had another school within the school, which was military. And in military, it was still vicious niggas in that. Wow, vicious in niggas in that. I mean, my, my son Sype went to uh, military. My son Sype. Welcome home, Sype. The Sype home. Oh, yeah, Lincoln was in here heavy too. Life over here is what you make it, to be honest. You know I'm saying, like, look, look, look over there. Look across the street. Those are the ox. They, they have fun like that all the time over there. You know what I'm saying? And it fit in a vicious neighborhood. There's no worries to them. We having fun. We on 133rd in Amsterdam. We in the hood. You know what I'm saying? On the west side of Harlem to be exact. I mean, I'm about to take y'all niggas to the corner store. This is where we all dwell at. You know what I'm saying? This is where the homies is at. Where we all chill right here. We'll be up, we'll be damn near this whole shit in the line full of us. Before we move anywhere else, niggas is right here. Right in the corner store. Where you can see the sign like no other. This is full of history over here, you know what I'm saying? Right here is a nut, you know what I mean? Where the legendary movie Juice was shot. So right here on this on this hill right here, you had the wrecking crew, which was Bishop, Steel, Raheem, and Q. They came up this block right here, and then they stopped right. They made that. You see where the scaffold is? That green scaffold right there. They stopped right here because right there is where niggas had the niggas had the DJ flyer at, and niggas was saying like, yo. This nigga, DJ Scratch, all these niggas gonna be there. You just local. And then he go, you know what I mean, you still my local DJ. So if you haven't seen that movie, go watch Juice. You know what I mean? With Tupac, Omar Epps, you know what I mean? Go, go look at that, you know what I mean? Famous movie Juice, shot on the west side of Harlem, this side, you know what I mean? This is the legendary Cherry Lounge, you feel me? 
So much history done been in there. So many elites done came out of here. Tiana, Webstar, Ron Browse, T-Rex, Remy Ma, Murder Mook, uh, Jim Jones. I think shit done got so crazy, they just banned the spot. You see how this shit is dead end. Stacks. Webstar's from this block right here, 128. So, he would have these parties and shit like that. You wouldn't, you don't want to go up this way, you know what I'm saying? Because this is, this, this ain't the right way to go. But this is the quickest way to the train stations and all that. The Ville niggas is coming down this way. Skrilla niggas is coming down these steps right here. But niggas don't want to go through this because this is where, this is the hood. Niggas gonna rob you, niggas gonna do all sorts of shit to you. Niggas will go, niggas will lead this shit and go around, around that way to walk the two fifth. That's a whole different area. That's a whole different niggas with that as leader shit and go around this shit, bro. Just to go to the to the same way you could go from right up these steps. But niggas is not going up these steps. Also, in an episode of, in, the, in the same movie, Juice, this where Q who went to try out for the DJ shit, Queen Latifah kicked him out and shit like uh kicked the nigga Flex from one on one out. Had him DJing that shit, and it's the same place where they did the DJ event at, like where they did the whole DJ battle and shit like that, where Q won and the cops ran down on him. I'm about to take y'all to the uh, community center. You know what I mean? Uh, another good staple in uh, my neighborhood, not just for myself, for uh, the future generation of Harlem and New York City. You know what I mean? Definitely one of the only things that. Still up and running in these jacks, you know, but I'm proud of it. When I was younger, in my teenage years, we had the life feed culture popping at that time, you know what I'm saying? I was definitely heavily involved in there, and I would uh, throw my events in here, you know what I mean, just to have some, especially on Fridays, Saturdays, and I think, I think, some, I think Wednesdays during the week. We would have stuff going on in here, you know, for the kids, for myself. It would be dope basketball games, uh, big dance events, parties. I would throw all that type of stuff in here, you know what I mean? Uh, just to give back and just to have something done, something dope in my hood, you know what I mean? Um, and even now, fast forward now, uh, it's still here. It's still, it still gives the youngins a chance to have something, you know what I mean? Something to do out here, you know what I mean? Cause we, we, we had this, but we ain't, we wasn't really following this like that. You know what I'm saying? We was out here, you know what I'm saying? So the more we could keep them in here, you know what I'm saying? Keep them in, uh, you know, in this shit and keep them doing, playing basketball, playing on a computer, a bunch of board games, learning new stuff. I think it'll continue to help the future of this generation. You know what I mean? I'm just proud that it's still here and that the, that you know these other the powers that be didn't come here and take this away from us because this is needed. You know what I mean? This is this is this is one of the things that can help secure the future for the new generation. You know what I mean? So I I took my hat off to Manville just to just make sure we still had this. You know what I mean? Um, and definitely, if you haven't, you know, bring your kids to the center. This is probably like the nicest building in the hood right here. If you'd like to. <laughs> Come move through, you know what I mean? Three thousand dollars a month if you got that bread, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Look nice. Nice view. And all nice, that. view. <laughs> nice, nice, wholesome view of the projects. I think it's the only building of people who dead ass will clean their dog shit off the floor. <laughs> like like it's like it's like one of the houses, like they gonna really get in trouble with some shit like that. Like bro, nigga, it's pits and all sorts of that shit. We done walk past a whole block. A whole block. Of dog shit. Niggas do not give a fuck over here, bro. We be smoking and drinking. We done sat on them steps, on them steps. We sit on the on the on that sh on the gate shits. Like we all through this shit, but we we definitely when people come out, we definitely get them respect. I, I say that about my block though. We we definitely give them the respect. You know what I'm saying? We definitely uh let them let them live a little. Let them live a little. Let them come out when they come out. We move out their way. You know what I mean? Let them go in. Let them. You know what I mean? We don't. We ain't just assholes. But you're not kicking us off the block, nigga. We run this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that that's. You know what I'm saying? Just like that store over there. Oh, that store over there. They don't tell us. They can't tell us nothing because we run this shit. If you even call the cops, we'll make it hard for you every day. This really the trenches, and we done. We done. We done made it through. You know what I'm saying? We done made it through. And all my and now all my niggas, we all got bad. We don't share bad. Like my hood is back to back to back. Foreigns. We really all came from a long way, bro. A long way. 
a long way. It's, it's niggas that was rolling with it, but them niggas is in like a lot of them niggas that's around that was around us is in that same position. They in the same position that we was already in. Years ago. Yeah, this is nothing new. <laughs> like niggas been like really like been with Yeah man, I wouldn't trade I wouldn't trade none of the experiences that we had in for the world. I love all that shit. Threes up, A's down, rest in peace, mugger. Big shout out to my New York niggas, big shout out to the Bronx. You know I got love for my Bronx niggas. Especially these two niggas right here, man. From the west side of the Bronx to the west side of Harlem. Yes. See how it yes, goes. big dog. What a coincidence is I know, that? I'm about to well, go guys, in that's the end of the video. Big shout out to the whole New York City for showing love.